discuss about、uh, we we learn about the the area,、uh, the formula of area for quadrilateral.、Uh, quadrilateral, I have a definition here.、Uh, okay, don't have. Maybe just、uh, below. Okay,、um, quadrilateral simply say is they have four side, four side. Any four side enclosed shape with four side. We call quadrilateral.、Uh, right now, we are discussing about、uh, some special、uh, quadrilateral. So they are square,、uh, parallelogram, a rectangle. Uh, I, maybe I put rectangle the second. Kite.、Uh, kite is not is the is the standard kite,、uh, not like a, the kite you made like a, a butterfly shape or something. <laughs> That's not in this. But、uh, for that kind of kite, we also have a way to calculate, calculate it. Okay, but this not belongs to quadrilateral, right? So also trapezoid,、uh, trapezoid, and、um, I also will introduce the area of the irregular.、Uh, irregular is、uh, comparably say those I talk about the five are called irregular, but they definitely are irregular. So okay. So let's start. In fact,、um, for area of the quadrilateral, generally, especially for、uh, those special one, are simple. So I will give some example based on this for you to、um, are easy to understand. Aside from that, you need to know that it's kindly how to calculate the area of quadrilateral, whatever is useful, right? It's useful in your daily life. Okay.、Uh, So,、uh, so I now I just say I will、uh, more focus on I just use the、uh, unit like meter or kilometer or something, okay? But you also have the way to use inches, whatever, right? So, but、uh, that's not important. The unit is not important. The important is how to calculate the what area, okay? So let's first see go to the square. Square is the most、uh, unique one. Uh, quadrilateral Y because they have four sides are equal. So which means AB equals to BC equals to CD equals to AD. The four sides are equal and the length is equal. Here's R. And、uh, I put this uh, uh, square in the what in the coordinate so we can easily know the、uh, the unit, right? Okay. I just I I I will not say. In this、uh, session, I will not discuss what's the exactly this unit for. It's inches or kilometers, whatever centimeters. It's up to you. But I just just call their our、uh, numbers, okay? So for square, four sides are equal.、Uh, if you ask me, is that four sides are equal? This kind of、uh, quadrilateral R. A what? A square. I say may or may not. And、uh, the another condition is necessary. Require is necessary is the four angles are ninety degree. Okay, so this is a square. Four angles are ninety degree. I, I use this one to show it's a it's a ninety degree. Okay. Okay, so the r, so the square root of the square, ah,、uh, sorry, the area of a square is, ah,、uh, okay, area just use the simple one, area, okay, so equals to r square, just that simple. Based on this ah、uh, square, since the four sides, the length is. One, two, three, four. So this one, the area is equals to what? Four square, right? It's equals to sixteen. So whatever unit is up to you. Okay. This is the most simple one. Then another one is also very simple. We call a rectangle. Rectangle. Let's see the right side is a rectangle. Ah,、uh, what's the characteristic of the rectangle here? Is first you see four side. It belongs to the what? Quadrilateral, right? And then all internal angles are ninety degree, right? And the opposite side are parallel. 
but the only difference is they're not equal length. But the equal length is on the parallel side, AB and DC, as well as AD, as well as BC. So uh, this area, how to calculate it, the rectangle is A is equals to Look at B, C, the length is V. We call this is what? This is width, right? Width times what? Times length, right? Length is W. So that easy. Uh, you also can say that square is a special what? Rectangle, right? Because only V and W are same, right? So, so for this one, What's the result? The V is what? V is 4, right? And uh, W is 6. So 4 times 6 equals to 24. OK. OK. So if this is in a room, it's, it's 24, 24 square meters, or right? And we change. Uh, okay, so 24 square meters, right? Or uh, if you want to say the foot, uh, square foot, uh, so uh, 24 square meters. So uh, okay, so uh, or your or your you need to change your like a uh, four foot times six foot so 24 foot it's up to you the unit is up to you okay but you also can change the unit between each other right if you can change meters uh, to foot right but don't just directly change the finally right if you just change uh 24 square meters you you times the uh the the the, the unit uh one meter equals to 3.28 foot that's definitely is wrong okay so but anyway, I this is not important. I want discussion this time. Okay, so next one is also special. Uh, we call a uh, parallelogram. A parallelogram is the is a quadrilateral, of course. The opposite sides are parallel. So AB and DC are parallel. AD and uh, what BC are parallel. So what's the area? Okay, in order to solve this, to get this area, I need to, what? I need to write, uh, what I need to draw, what? Draw uh, auxiliary nine. I call this height, okay. So I call this height. So since it's not really one, so I will just make them like this way, okay. How to say its height? I just use this sign. Okay. Okay. So this is height. I just use the length is h. Okay. So so what's the area of this? The parallel is area equals to what? Base. Base here, you either can be AB, either can be what? DC. So here base is V times height. So for this one is equals to what? I just make them, just make them, the unit is a meter, okay? So the, for the V is a five. The height, we are already to three, so it's 15 square meters, right? 15 square meters, right? Uh, square meters. Okay, okay, I'm just writing like this way, okay. Uh, you might have a question why it's, Parallel, uh, parallel will be calculating as this one. Uh, we just think about that. If we link B and we draw a height 
from B intersection with the what? With the horizontal line, with the base, if we definitely this will be get here. Okay. If this point we call E. So you think about that. For this parallel A, B, C, D, we simply move area A, D. Uh, maybe we don't know this one. I will make this as F. This point is F. The F is on the three. Oh. We just move triangle A, F, D. A, D, F move to the B, C, E. Are they same? Yes, I say them same because they are. First, they are what? For this one, they're isosceles, right? Isosceles triangle because this is a three. This also three, and this is rectangle. This right triangle, so this equals to three times three. And this one, B C E. This triangle is also the same. So it's just like move this triangle to another side. Okay, now just let's imagine for the A B E F is this a rectangle? Definitely it is, right? Because they are parallel to each other, and this is a 90 degree. This is 90 degree. Of course, they are also parallel. So since the area of rectangle is the base, the base is same, right? Five. It's also five, right? Times height. So there's no change, right? Same. Okay, so let's go to kite. Kite is like what? Uh, kite, as you think about, the first is chords or lateral, right? And then they have like um, the two sides here, AD and the DB are, are equal length, okay? Definitely they're not parallel, <laughs> okay? Same thing at AC and the B and the CB, they are also equal length. So I'm writing here, so just make your memory. So length AD equals to DB, and AC equals to what? CB. This is a speciality, okay? This is a speciality. And that's why when we make kite, right, we make this like this way. So they are equal side. They will not like when you're flying, one side is heavy, one side is not heavy, right? So, so how to calculate this one? Before calculated it, I will draw an auxiliary line for the height, and I also will a little introduce the, the triangle, right? The triangle of area is what? One half base times height. Am I right? Remember, huh? Remember, okay. So base times height. So the auxiliary line I will draw is from A to B. From A to B. So I will just show you. Okay. Okay. Another nine, I want to make it uh, look more striking. Okay. So I hope you know what I will. I will. Writing again of x axis. Okay, okay, that's it. So, look at CD and AB, we call diagonal 9, right? Because there's an opposite angle, diagonal 9. So, so for this one, the kite. The area is one half. Interesting how it's different from other, right? Other uh, quadrilateral. One half of the two diagonal. Two diagonal. Okay. So CD times AB. Okay. Um. For this one, I, I'm calculating this first, okay? So CD is equals to 10. AB equals to 6, right? So it's 30, am I right? And let's just make them 30 
meters square. Okay. Uh, why? Um, now just simply we look at triangle ACD, right? Believe here, uh, this one of the character did not really uh, introduce the, the diagonal line in, uh, intersection and the form, the four, uh, the form itself become the perpendicular line to each other. So this is the characteristic of the kite. Okay, so I have to mention, so it's 90 degree. So I just make this as uh, A, B, C, D, make this as E, okay. So we can observe this kite. When we draw the line of CD, in fact, it's horizontal line, we can equally separate these two, this kite into two equal area of the triangle. Am I right? Because when we calculate triangle, we just need two things. One is the base, they are same base. The height, they're also same height, right? So it's three. It's also three, right? Because you, now you don't say that it's negative three, okay? Negative is just the direction, okay? But when we're calculating, the length is exactly three, okay? <laughs> so what's the area of the... So if we have the area of one triangle, we definitely know the whole area, right? Because it's just the two, right? So this triangle A, B, A, D, C is what? C, D times one half. Don't forget one half. 1 half CD times AE. So AE is 3, CD is uh, 10, so times 1 half is 15. The two of them equal, so total is 30. Right, right? Okay. So, uh, so let's go to which one? Okay, uh, trapezoid. Let's go to trapezoid. What is trapezoid? Let me look at this one. It's trapezoid. In fact, I have a two trapezoid I draw here. Uh, let's see what's the definition. Trape trapezoid is a four side flat shape as flat, yeah, with a straight size that has a pair of opposite sides of parallel. What's that mean? This means that these two sides, first they're quadrilateral. Second is their two sides are, are what? Parallel. Okay. Uh, so um, I'm not sure you can observe the difference of these two isosceles, uh, sorry, two trapezoid or not. But if you uh, look carefully, you can uh, you can observe that. I, I call first one is isosceles trapezoid because the size AD and another two size AD equals to BC. But this one not same, right? But whatever they are same, the isosceles or not isosceles trapezoid, they have same way of calculating their area is equals to The upper base. Oh wait, I need to draw a draw a auxiliary line first. Okay, this auxiliary auxiliary line will be uh, height. Okay, so both one definitely you need a height, right? So whatever. So one height I draw here. Okay, uh, another head. We I draw. Hey. Another height. What's what's the heck? Okay. So another height. I just draw from A until a straight line from here. Okay, I call it what? I call it E, okay. So I'll just make them. Okay, so, so this one I also make E. 
area of trapezoid is equals to race upper base plus lower base the slow base did not uh, mention a small number so I just write in as DC divided by 2 times height this is height okay it's times height the same thing here either the isosceles they are same so it's the upper base now let's uh, go to our example so for us to exercise and know how to uh, calculate calculate the, the irregular uh, quadrilateral okay so what I call the irregular quadrilateral here is you can see is a b e f f e right this there's no any similarity with the we talk about the square rectangular kite uh, trapezoid right there's no parallel line right uh, but it's inside uh, what inside a trapezoid right so uh, but here we not only ask for this one we ask for the area of the G F E is the green part this green part triangle is not regular as well right so we don't know its base the length of the length of what E F as well as the height we don't know but we do know this area is belongs to the big triangle EBF, am I right? So which means we don't necessarily need to know this, but we if we know triangle BEF and we know the triangle area of BGF, then we know this one, right? Because the big one minus smaller one equals to the green one. So that's just right here. So triangle EGF equals to triangle what? Triangle what? B E F minus triangle B G F. Okay. Okay. So B G F we we can we already know that B G F is a triangle is equals to the area is one half of the length e times height right so one half the e times h1 right so it's equal to e is 2 h1 is 2 so the area is 2 here okay so bgf we already know and uh, we we found that for triangle ebf we steer e BF we still cannot find right but we know that in this triangle is included inside the quadrilateral a b f e right and the a b f e divide into two big triangle ones a b e and what another one is e b f so which means if we know the areas A, B, F, E and the areas A, B, E, we know the area of E, B, F, right? So that's just right. So make this we'll not forget. So triangle B, E, F equals to what? Equals to A, B, F, E minus triangle a b e right so this is logic we need to find uh, a b e f and uh, a b e right so look at the irregular quadrilateral a b e f it's inside of the a b c d which is a uh, Trapezoid. We know how to calculate the trapezoid, right? 
and since we already know the length of the height, we can get it. So we can think about if we, we want to get A, B, F, E, we just need to get the area of A, B, C, D minus two triangle. One is A, D, E, another is what? Another is E, F, C. Am I right? So let me write in here clearly, okay? So now we need to get A, B, E, F, right? So A, B, E, F is equals to, ah, let's write in here. A, B, C, D minus what? Minus what? Minus triangle A, D, E minus triangle E, F, C, right? Am I right? So A, B, C, D equals to one half of the height times upper base plus what? Lower base is D, C, right? And the triangle A, D, E is equal to one half h2. But these both are h2, right? Times what? Times the base. Base is what? Base is de, right? And the minus one half also h2. Ah, sorry, this is not h2. This h3. Just look at here. h3, right? h3. We know the length is uh, e, right? It's like a, from two to one, right? So it's two. So e3 times what? times the base, right? Base is an EC, right? Am I right? I'm not sure I will discuss about this, but I think I will not. Time is not enough. One example will be okay. So then it will be what? One half. H2 is what? H2 here, four. Right? So four V plus DC V is a uh, six DC is a nine it's fifteen times uh, minus one half H two is four D E is what D is five right minus one half H three is what two E C is what E C is uh, nine minus five is four right so what's the result? Uh, we we draw common factor one half, so it's sixteen minus twenty minus what, eight, so it's like uh, one half of the what what thirty two, so it's sixteen the area of what a b a b what a b e f right is sixteen, and uh, what's the a b e a b e is the base times height, right? Base is V. V is how much length is uh, 8 minus 2, so it's 6. 6 times what? 6 times 4 divided by 2 is 12. So, so the area of what we want, B, E, F equals to A, B, A, B, F, E is 16 minus a B E is what? One half of the well height times two what? Times to the V, right? V we already said V is eight minus two, six. Six the height is four, right? Height is four, right? So this is a twelve, right? So it's four. Triangle B E F is four. Let's see here. So finally we can get this one, right? That's what we need, right? E F right. E what we need is areas E G F. E G F equals to B E F. B E F is equal to four. Four times this another two. Four times two. Sorry, four minus two. So it's two. So area of the E G F equals to two. Right? So uh, it's spent a long time, but in fact, it's not hard, right? It's just think about you have to do, keep on uh, see how they consist of each other and how to uh, minus another area to get the rest of one, right? Not if you cannot solve in the direct way, you have to think about other way how to solve it. So anyway, thank you very much for joining the session about the area of the 
uh, quadrilateral. I hope you learned something, and uh, I think this is really help you, help us for calculated the uh, uh, quadrilateral in the future, our daily life. We really need that. Okay, so thank you very much, and uh, have a nice day. Bye bye.